This building was once a Motown Records pressing plant, but it's now setting records in the craft beer industry. It's probably the best time in, in 100 years for beer in New Jersey. There are over two dozen brewing companies in New Jersey. According to a Nielsen study, craft beer and microbrews represent about 11% of the beer market, with a growth of 17% in the past year. That's something the industry is toasting. Beer, craft beer, is, it's an affordable luxury. I mean, it's a dollar a bottle, and you really get to enjoy a local handcrafted product. Come summertime, the brewing is easy, but fermenting takes a long time, but it seals the taste. The fermentation process varies, and that depends on the style. So we have uh, some beers that will ferment or condition and in about 12 days, uh, and then they get packaged. Uh, other beers take longer, uh, and that's about, for us it's about 22 days. And when the employees at the Flying Fish Brewing Company wanted to help out with the victims of Hurricane Sandy, they said they did what they knew best. They made beer. We were able, a small company of our size was able to donate $75,000 to such groups as Habitat for Humanity, Partnership for the Delaware Estuary. The company says that they're all about New Jersey, and when it comes to naming their brews, they've gotten pretty creative. So we did a series of beers, and we're still working on it, called the Exit Series. So we take different exits of the turnpike. For example, Exit 1, we did an oyster stout uh, using Delaware Bay oysters. Oysters and beer? Some loved it, others not so much. The key to this brewing New Jersey industry is keeping up with the exotic taste of the customers and coming up with recipes that work. This head brewer shared a little secret. Hops go into every one of our beers, so even if people think they don't like hops, they, they think hops are bitter, that's something that's in every beer. I mean, it provides balance. If you didn't have hops in a beer, it would taste almost cloyingly sweet and really un unpalatable. And the latest craze on tap, India Pale Ales, known as IPAs. Beers that have more hops to it, a taste that's slightly more bitter. Uh, piney character, citrusy character, uh, uh, tropical notes to it. And a high note for New Jersey beer crafters who are keeping beer enthusiasts lining up for more. In Somerdale, Candace Kelly, NJTV News.